Hey, what is up guys? So it's about seven o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm just giving Kai a walk right now. I'm trying to make a new routine where I walk him every morning. It, uh, it helps, you know, calm his energy down since he's a husky and stuff. And it's also just good exercise for me and stuff. Only problem with this is I wake up and it's cold outside, but it's kind of better though, cause otherwise, you know, I'd just be standing there and my, my blood's not moving or anything. And so I'm just standing there freezing. So at about 10.30, 11 o'clock, I have an appointment with Best Buy to bring my camera to Geek Squad. But the problem is, is the Best Buy is in Grand Junction, Colorado. It's the closest one to where I'm at, so that works, but it's about two hours away. So the plan is I have to leave by no later than nine o'clock so I can get to my appointment. And then from there, I think I'm gonna see if I can find a place to camp out in Grand Junction. I'm gonna kind of explore the area, see what there is to do. And if I can find a good place to camp, I'm just gonna stay there until I feel like coming back, or I'm just gonna come back to Utah since I already know good places to camp out here and good things to do. Kinda stinks though. Um, if I end up staying in Grand Junction, I really wanted to go on this trail right here, this trail we're walking on. Uh, where me and Kai are walking right now, it's actually an off-road trail, and uh, it's a really cool trail. It's not like difficult or anything, but it's really pretty down here with all these rocks and stuff. Yesterday, my transfer case, I put transmission fluid in it, and I ended up putting a whole quart in. I filmed it on the vlog, but uh, as you may or may not know, I lost the full vlog yesterday, but uh, yesterday I did some repairs on the Jeep, and one thing I needed to check on was the transfer case fluid, and it was bone dry, so... After I topped that off, I thought about coming down here, but I needed to work on the video and stuff and just ran out of time. So I wanted to do it today, but today I have an appointment with Best Buy. So maybe another day I'll come down here and show. Wow, look at that. The way the sun hits these mountains is just insane. It's so beautiful out here. I got a little cocky and didn't wait for me. I trusted him a little too much. I gave him a lot of slack in the leash and um, I was climbing up and he tried to jump, jump across before I was up and so the leash caught, he tripped and like flipped and fell into that crease like where the rocks were. And uh, I didn't know how deep it was at the time. So I just saw him like trip and fall and like I was about to let go of the leash because like at that point, you know, it's better than hanging in. But like I didn't know what to do. And uh, luckily it wasn't a far fall. And uh, he kind of twisted around and landed on his feet. And uh, I had to jump down there because he was, you know, kind of tripping. And I was afraid he was going to hurt himself. So I had to jump down there and pick him up, put him on the rock. After that, it freaked him out. So I had to wrap the leash around. I had to pick him up and carry him to the other side. He didn't break anything. Um, he seems okay now. He's walking just fine. So, uh, <laughs> a little scary, but we're okay. All right. Well, it is it is 8.06, and I don't really mind leave, if I have to leave a little early. I'd actually prefer it, uh, you know, just make sure I make it there on time and stuff for my you know, appointment or whatever. But for now, I gotta do some dishes from last night. Time to get to Grand Junction and drop my camera off. Oh, also, this is day one of the GoPro series. <sighs> it's gonna suck.
just dropped the camera off so they said it'll take about three to four weeks so i was right it'll take about a month to get it back but theoretically it'll be fixed i have another issue though In case you don't know what that is, um, it's some kind of oil and it's just, it's not just dripping, it's sprayed all over the gas tank, the rear diff, it, whatever it was, it was flying and I don't know what it's coming from. So hopefully it's nothing major. I, I'm thinking it's just the diff, but if it is, it's leaking down, it's leaking onto something, I don't know. But it's a problem that needs fixed sooner rather than later. Hey Ginger, so I just gr drove into Grand Junction from uh, Moab and I noticed that my Jeep is leaking what well, I think it might be differential fluid. Awesome, thank you so much. You too. Bye. I just got off the phone with uh, Barney Brothers Off-Road and Repair. Shop I drove by actually um, on the way here. It looks like a nice shop. They seem like they do good work. We might go into Cabela's just to look around. But for now, I think I'm just gonna kinda stay here, walk Kai around and stuff. I'm gonna take Kai to the Toys R Us of dogs. The dogs, Toys R Us or whatever. Is that it, Kai? Ended up getting these uh, mini reward treats. Instead of giving him a little bit of his expensive treats, I'm gonna just give him a little bit. Of, I'm just gonna give him one of these little like trainer treats to reward him anytime I need him to get more used to actually listening to me, I guess. <laughs> it's more of the reality of uh, living in your Jeep. Making sandwiches in the back of the Jeep in the Best Buy parking lot. I'm running the AC so Puppy Kai can kind of cool off. Also just feels nice. It was kind of hot in here. I put up Reflectix and stuff to try to keep the heat out. I have the sleeping bag <laughs> behind me. Because the sun is mostly where the heat's coming from. Kai looks tired. Got him some water and now he's falling asleep. And in about an hour I'm going to go get the Jeep checked up and then find a place to camp for tonight. so much better than what I got. Plus it just feels better than the, the one I have. You have to like turn the knob things on here. I might have to upgrade one day. Maybe Best Top will sponsor me a seat. That is, that's racist, man. That's, that's all not racist. About that. That's totally. Okay. So, all this oil that's all over the place is a mixture of two things. I knew about that. And dip fluid. You got a leak at this seal, you got a leak at this seal, and then the cover's leaking. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, this whole cell, look at this here. See this here? How it's moving around? I uh, see, so yeah. This needs a replacement yoke and a replacement U joint. Otherwise, you're going to end up throwing this. And that's going to be a big problem. Yep. This I just got that muffler fixed for that problem. <laughs> this here only has about that much fluid. It I, should be up to here. Yeah, I just filled that up because it was running low, but yeah. So it's leaking yeah, pretty so bad. That was yesterday. At this point, at this <laughs> point, I mean, if you've been filling it up, at this point, we don't see any metal in it, which is good. Mm -hmm. But flinging all this fluid all over the place is not good. So it's coming out of the bearing? It's coming out of the seal. Okay. Yeah. And it's probably because this thing's moving all around. Yeah. It's part of it. So that we need definitely. to replace that seal. We need to replace this seal, this yoke, this U-joint, and then replace the seal on the cover.
Gotcha. And that will take care of the leaks and the issue. Do you have a vibration? I, I find it hard to believe that you don't have a vibration. Think of myself as an optimist, and I gotta say, these these are the comfiest, these are the comfiest Starbucks seats I've ever sat in. Like usually they have the stupid metal ones. Look at that. It's like it's like a mesh, and it's like comfortable. Like I, I'm my butt doesn't hurt sitting out here. I was just inside trying to get things situated, posting stuff on Facebook and stuff, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the Jeep situation and stuff. And um, I'm I'm a little bit farther into it. So that's the total cost of repairs if I take it to the shop and have them repair it. Most of that money is in labor. Um, from what they can tell, it's you know it, it's not a good situation. Um, if I had a garage and I had my tools, I could probably fix it myself super easy. But otherwise, it's just kind of, I have to decide you know, if I'm willing to risk the possibility of me making things worse by holding it off longer. The drive shaft definitely needs to be bolted down tighter. I don't know if um, it'll help if I get new straps, if that'll make a difference, or if you know I might actually need a new yoke completely. But if I take the yoke off, I think that seal needs replaced and it, it's, the leaking's really bad and you know leaking oil is definitely something that needs fixed soon. I reached out on Facebook seeing if anyone has any jobs I can do for them. I'm cutting wood or something, I don't know. Or just if someone has a shop honestly in this area and I actually had a few people reach out but unfortunately um, most of those people were like on the other side of the country. But it still, it still really meant a lot to see a lot of people were willing to like let me sleep on their couch or you know, you know make dinner for me and all that stuff and it was just really cool to see that in the community something i really admire about the jeep community is like how it's like a big family and stuff so a lot of you were really supportive and i really thank you for that if some of you were actually here because of that post on facebook um i hope you enjoy the youtube channel and honestly just watching the video sharing with your friends really helps the channel grow and that really also helps support me so i'm gonna figure something out with the jeep you know i might be getting a job in moab if i have to i'll get kai a doggy daycare get a temporary job and kind of go from there i'm not entirely sure what i want to do yet i think i might go work on the jeep and at o'reilly's parking lot tonight and i might be sleeping in a parking lot tonight actually but i don't know we'll see what happens and uh i'll update you guys tomorrow hopefully i don't sleep on the side of the road with a broken jeep yeah, I'm